What's the difference between standard events, custom events, and custom conversions? Well, that's what we're talking about today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. So if you run ads, there's no doubt that you already know full well about standard events and quite likely custom conversions as well. But something that a lot of ad managers don't know about are these custom events. What are they and how are they different? Well, let's just take a step back and look at each of them individually to start with, okay? So first of all, standard events. Now, when it comes to our Facebook pixel, we have the base pixel, okay? So that's typically the big long piece of code, the base pixel that gets installed in places, or depending on the software, you'll just put in your pixel ID, just that string of numbers that's for your pixel. So we need that everywhere to start with, on our website, everywhere that people would land off of Facebook that's relevant to our, you know, our services. We want that pixel everywhere. Now, then what we want are standard events. Now, standard events are typically events that will fire on pages that we want to track. So some easy ones, for example, is the lead standard event. We would typically install that on a page where somebody will they'll land on the opt-in and then they'll put in their email address, then they land on that thank you page. And that is where a conversion has happened. So the standard event for lead, the lead standard event pixel would be installed on that thank you page. And that's what's firing um, for our ad. So we would run a conversion campaign that's optimized for the lead event so that when people come to our opt-in funnel, they opt in and they fire that lead event, Facebook will go, aha, yep, this is who you're after. We'll go and find more people like this. So a lead, and we generally use a lead for um, the very easy opt-ins such as PDFs or quizzes or guides and things like that. Then we typically use complete registration events, the standard event on webinar funnels, for example. So something that's a bit more of a bigger ask where they're you know, going to sit and they're going to watch an hour's training. So complete registration there. Then when you've got like your high ticket funnels, you would have submit application for when they have submitted their application form and schedule for when they have actually booked a call. So there are a number of different options there. We used to be very limited, but we've got a few more options these days. There's also, of course, purchase and initiate checkout and add to cart. So again, initiate checkout can be on the page where there is a checkout form. And then purchase is going to be on that page they land on after they have put in their credit card details. Say by now, the purchase event has occurred and it's on that confirmation page. Again, depending on your software, some may have that firing um, for you in the back end, but typically, you know, you'll have it on a confirmation page and that's where it will fire. So there are our standard events. They're what Facebook has standard and they're gonna be across everybody's ad account. Now, custom events are like a standard event, but they're custom, they're unique for you. So where you may have like the lead standard event installed, this is where I would customize that event for a particular funnel. So say for my ad manager guide funnel, I would have lead then an underscore AMG for the ad manager guide. That way I can keep track in Facebook in the reporting and see um, what um, the lead event has fired for that ad manager guide. Because if I've got five different funnels that all have the lead standard event firing, then it could get a bit confusing with my ads because it might see that a lead event has fired, but it hasn't been for the funnel that I intended it to be for, right? Because people end up in different places on your website. The last ad they may have seen was for my ad manager guide, but they may have opted in and fired the lead event for one of my other funnels. So it was actually that one and not the ad manager guide, but the lead event would fire in that one. Hope I haven't lost you there. <laughs> so custom events help you keep track of your funnels. Okay, so 
lead underscore AMG for ad manager guide. Then I might have lead underscore for AME for ad manager express, for example. So you can customize them. Now these are great because they're not URL based. You could put this custom event on any page. So therefore, if you've got a funnel, for example, the ad manager guide, um, and the URL was admanagerguide.com, it's on the thank you page of it. But for some reason, I've had to change the URL. I can still just use that snippet of code and put it on another URL and it will continue to fire there. So that's what makes custom events different to custom conversions because custom conversions are typically created from a URL. So if that URL needs to change, then you'll need to create a new custom conversion for it. Okay. So custom events are super flexible, very robust, and it's just the little piece of script code that is the same as the standard event that you just customize and you can install on any URL and it will just start tracking. So that's why I love custom events. Very robust, not URL based and save a lot of issues like when things are URL based. Okay. Now when you create a custom event, we do then also need to come back and create a custom conversion. Now I did just say with our custom conversions, typically when people create them, they create them based on the URL. Okay. Now, when you create a custom event, you will select that event rather than the URL. So yes, you'll need to fire it on that page. So you'll go through your funnel, you are opt in, you'll do your pixel, um, you know, pixel check and you'll see that it's fired. Then come back to your custom conversions and you'll be able to see generally takes a few minutes, can take up to 30 minutes or so. You'll see that event there in your list. So rather than creating a custom conversion based off a URL, you'll just say from an event and you'll see it there in the list and you'll select it. Then you'll pair it with one of the standard events. So like I said, lead underscore AMG is for people who have opted in for the ad manager guide. So I would pair that with um, the Facebook standard event lead. Okay. So that's how you set up your custom events over into a custom conversion. And you need to do that step because then in ads manager, they'll come up as the columns, right? You'll want to be able to create your in your reporting, a column for lead ad manager guide. So that's why you need the custom events there. So Facebook will start being able to track them and you'll start seeing through ads manager. Okay. Now, like I said, custom conversions, typically cr people create them based on the URL. Now, if you are doing that, there's a couple of things you need to make sure. Don't select equals unless you really know what you're doing and you're doing that for a specific reason, because there's so many variations that can happen with our custom conversion URLs. For example, with your Facebook ads, people will click on your Facebook ad. They'll go over to your page and you've probably noticed Facebook puts in a little question mark and then it says FB click. And then there's a whole nother string and UTM parameters and all the rest of it. So that's why your custom conversions, the URLs using um, equals is very dangerous because they can have a lot of variations. Some might be HTTP, some might be HTTPS. So I always recommend to people that you create your custom conversions when you're using a URL that you select contains and you only use that part of the URL that you absolutely need. So I typically won't include HTTP or HTTPS. I would just say jodymillward.com forward slash TYAMG, which is thank you ad manager guide. So I know they've landed on that page. So it contains just that part of the URL. Therefore, if it's HTTP or HTTPS, it doesn't matter. If Facebook puts the question mark, FBQ, click on the rest, it doesn't matter. If there's various other parameters that have been put on the end of it, it doesn't matter. As long as it contains this part, then create that custom conversion. Okay. So that's what you need to consider there. So standard events come from Facebook. Here's your standard events, custom events. You can customize them to whatever. And you just use the same sort of script that you use for your standard events, but just customized. Then you create a custom conversion of that custom event. 
and then custom conversions where you may use a URL. Now, when it comes to optimizing our ads these days and our aggregated events, we can only have eight aggregated events. So that's where I would not typically use our custom events for the aggregated events. I'd rather, uh, it's much safer for you to be able to use your standard events. Therefore, they can be applied across any funnel. So if you've got ads running for a funnel already and you've used custom events or custom conversions that you've optimized for, you've put them in your aggregated events, but then you're going to be launching a new funnel and you need to make changes to those aggregated events that could just throw things right out of whack for you. So best practice, if you use your standard events in your aggregated events, that's going to save you a lot less grief as you roll out additional funnels or make changes. But create your custom events or your custom conversions, but ideally custom events because they're so much more robust and use them for tracking in your ads manager and use your standard events for optimizing and in your aggregated events. So I hope you found that useful. Now, if you want to know more about making consistent 5k months as a certified elite ad manager, then head over to eliteadmanager.com and discover how it's possible, the problems that are existing in the industry and the opportunities that exist for elite ad managers. Thanks for being here with me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.